One of the first things that captured my attention when I started working with Howard uh, on this book was the respiratory system. Your heart creates very high pressure in your arteries. So you have these, the arteries around your heart where the pressure is the highest have very thick walls. They're, they're designed to withstand very high pressure. But as you move out into your body and eventually get to the tiniest little capillaries in, uh, next to your cells, if the walls were still thick, you wouldn't be able to exchange chemicals between the blood cell and the lining of that capillary. So, so the walls have to be very, very thin. So you have this fluid dynamics problems that have to be solved. Now that's not my area of expertise, but it's really obvious. You have high pressure at one place and you have low pressure with very low flow um, in, in just where you need to do that chemical exchange. And the red blood cells, because they've been enucleated, their nucleus is gone and they can deform going through those narrow capillaries and increase the surface area of the cell as it's rubbing against the walls of the capillary. So it maximizes the exchange of chemicals between the two. It's absolutely brilliant. I wish I'd thought of it.